the CFIA and, and, and all these labeling requirements, it's been a major, major, um, there, there's been some hurdles and roadblocks throughout the, you know, the past three years. And we're still, you know, we still have to work at, you know, improving and, and, and fixing things along the way. So, sure. Sorry about the, uh, the acronym. Acronyms. That would be <laughs> Canadian Food Inspection Agency. And, and so, you know, of course, they have their uh, restrictions and regulations and cert certifications that you have to abide by. And, and in fact, starting out when I first started, part of uh, the labeling, it had been approved at one point, but only to have been, well, we'll say, dis they, 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 I had to go back to the table and uh, redesign just because of font sizes of certain like the bourbon and and so it was like it, it can be really costly and cause a lot of headaches if you're not reaching out to the proper networks and and consulting companies to get those things down pat like that that's one thing I would recommend if you're gonna you know start a company in food or beverage you, you should have the you know expertise subject matter expertise at your you know on your on your list of your contacts because I've, I've had my share of things. 